Hi, I'm Coach Mason, PAL Director of Baseball. It's summer and it's time to have some fun, so let's get it started. Yep. yep. Mason, one of the more important things with throwing is making sure we're using our big muscles. What are our big muscles? Our legs. So, we got to make sure our legs are in it when we're throwing. And a little drill that you can do to help you make sure you're get, getting your legs in it, think about a pitcher's motion. How they, when they throw, they put their hip, lean into their hip first and throw. So that back foot and you lean into it. Mason, what, throw, what hand do you throw what with? What hand do you throw with, Mason? Right hand. So your left leg goes up. Step up a little closer. Left leg goes up, and then follow through with your throw. Lean in with your hip. Step Lean a little closer to the fence. Get closer to the fence. Get closer. Yeah, there you go. That's you, when you're throwing, making sure you're leaning in with your hip. Okay? That gets, make sure you get your legs into your throw. Okay? Remember, let's use those big muscles. Mason, let's go to something Start over. Kids who really haven't played. Start over. <laughs> now we're going to practice something called the T formation. Again, for beginners, you know, who haven't uh, done a lot of throwing, making sure that you get that ball away from your ear and you, you're able to get your power in it. As we talked about using your big muscles, your legs, the T formation helps you get your body aligned to your target. What you want to do is start by getting your feet shoulder width apart and making a T with your arms here. Glove pointing towards your target, ball pointed away from you. The ball pointed away from you. See this, Mason? Yep. The ball is pointing away from you, okay? You're going to go from this formation into your throwing form. You're going to here, step toward your target, ball come through, and follow through. The glove, remember, with your glove hand, you're doing yes. That glove hand comes back into your body. The glove comes back into your body. One more time, T formation. Shoulder point at your target. Ball away from you. Step into it, throw, follow through, and that glove is back into your chest saying yes. Let's try that a few times, Mason. Get your glove on. T formation. T formation, T, the glove points at the target, feet shoulder width apart, ball, T, there's your T, glove hand up, step towards your target, throw, okay, let that ball go out in front of you. Try it again. Now remember, tuck that glove. Tuck the glove into your body. Step into it, bring your body into it. The big muscle, so you get your big muscles into it. Stepping toward that target. See that? See the power you had there? Try that again. Same way, T formation. What happened? You let the ball go from back here. Bring the ball all the way through. And follow through. And follow through to your target. I was like. Follow through to your target. T 
Keep your eye on your target, good. That's your release. Your release point should be out in front of you. That's your release point. And you tuck that ball, glove into your arm. Your release point was good, but you had no power. All right, getting better, getting better. Just give me a couple good ones here. Okay. Good, very good. Last one. All right, good job. We're gonna do a little target throwing, Mason. But before we do the target throwing, we want to make sure we got our form right. Okay? First thing we want to do is make sure our shoulders are point, pointing to the target. Okay? Feet are shoulder width apart. Okay? Your glove, hand, and elbow is up ball would be at your chest level. Don't fall back. Don't fall back. Don't lean. Don't lean back. Now, no. What's going to happen is the ball comes out of out of your glove. It comes down around the shoulder, looking at your target. It comes up here in the air. Here, follow through. So it's like. Don't forget, you're also stepping on that front leg, just like you did at the fence. So it's like... Yeah, step directly towards your target. Don't step out. Step towards your target. Step towards your target. So it's like... No. Here. You pick your ball up. Shoulder. Remember your shoulder's pointing at it. Now do go. Step towards your target when you're ready to throw. Now, Mason, your arm is here when you're throwing. It should be up here. Let me try it. Okay. Get a little more, a little, a little more of that arm out a little more. Right. Yes. Yes. So it kind of works. Lady. Yes. You, you got to get his form. You got to get. Got to get him. Up. He's not in the picture. Oh, he was. Yes. Again. Remember that arm's got to. It's coming out here, and up and through. That's okay. okay. Very important. We we know that we're not throwing from our ear. When you're here, you're not getting your power. You gotta get it up here. You throw from here. You don't have any power. Outside. Let's go through your form. Take your time. Go through your form. Get that arm back. You went. To, you caught that arm right here. Yes. Now back, back up a little bit to, to, to do, make sure you get him. He, he's Hello. Gonna throw harder. What's up? That's it. No <laughs> point in. Now, when your glove hand, go uh, freeze it for a second. Put a glove on. Nice and high, nice and high. Watch this. Okay, again, let's do it. This is a drill we should be doing at home. As much as possible. No power in that one, Mason. No, I can't. Of course, you may not have a net at home. Throw it to a tire, let's go. We got more power than that? Yep. When, remember, hold it, stop. Once we follow through, that glove comes back into our chest. Like we said, yes. 
When we finish the glove, it's right here to our chest. That's all it goes like. No, the glove, the glove. The glove is tucked in tight. Glove is tucked in into my chest. Back up a little bit. Can you get a little closer? Or did you ask me to back up? I just backed up because I hit the fence. Okay, all right, I'll move. Don't go past that. Are you tucking that glove in when we're done? Okay. Focus on that. Okay. So Again, if so you don't have a net today. to throw into, you could throw into a box, a bucket, a tire, or just draw a square on, on a wall. And, and you're, okay. you're trying to work on your accuracy by throwing out a target. Okay, okay a couple you more stuff to do, and we'll yeah. move on. You're pointing with your elbow, not with the glove. Okay, yeah, send it to me. Good. Let's move on to the next one. Let me see what the next drill is. Yes.